begin this video with the various parts of your warping wheel. These are some of the tools that you should use to assemble your warping wheel. Tracy begins by attaching the feet to the upper base, and then she attaches the feet to the lower base. She then takes the upper base and fits it into the lower base and bolts them together. The upper vertical is bolted into place. Tracy now sets the upper vertical and bolts it into place. The drum assembly is fit into the upper vertical, and then the rattle support with open eye screw is joined to the back of the upper vertical. Parts are then bolted into place. Here, the tension tie-up assembly is attached to the rattle support. Then the cord is wrapped around the drum and the cord's loop is attached to the tie-up bolt on the upper vertical. Here Tracy is adjusting the tension. From the back, set the drum so the revolution pin is to the right of the first spoke groove. Attach one regular spoke first. Turn the drum 180 degrees and bolt on the weighted spoke. Tracy continues to attach regular spokes to the drum. The rattle mount is attached at the end of the rattle support arm. The revolution counter is easily attached to the rear of the drum on the rattle support intersection. Attach the stationary rattle cord catch assembly to the end of the spoke that is left of the revolution pin. This should be the first spoke you attached. Attach short dowel blocks to the spokes. Continue working counterclockwise until all the short dowel blocks are attached to the spokes. Attach the rattle top to the rattle. Then secure this to the rattle mount with the fast pin. Hang the extra rattle from the open screw eye. 